There's thousands of self-help books out there. Perhaps you're one of the people who's read many of them, but you just can't seem to get results in your life that help you reach the potential that you know that you have. Well, the answer may not be in your mind. It may actually be in your brain's physiology. And my guest today is Dr. Michael Cotton, and he's going to teach us more about higher brain living. Michael, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you, my pleasure. So what exactly is higher brain living? Well, higher brain living is a system that helps energize the dormant, untapped potential of the highest part of the human brain. We all have a kind of battle going on in us between the lower primitive brain, which is a very, very, very old part of our evolution. It's a part of our brain that evolved when the environment was predator rich, and its job is to keep us from being eaten by a tiger. But that's not real valuable in the modern world to spend most of our energy trying not to get eaten by a tiger. But that's what happens to us. Below the conscious threshold is that lower brain is still dominant. And so we really can't create large-scale, sustainable changes or transformations in our life until we get energy into this newly evolved part of our brain, which is designed to help us thrive, to help us be able to deal with the complexity that's been created, to help us move forward no matter what's going on. So there is a whole industry out there about self-help. There's mm -hmm. always a new book coming out. There's always new workshops. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't it work? Well, I believe it doesn't work, or I don't want to say it doesn't work, but I don't think that people create the dramatic life changes and sustain them that they hope for uh, on average. And the reason is, is because those, those self-help practices don't understand that there's a physiological component. Let, let me actually show you what I'm talking about. They're, they're, the brain... Now, what is this? This is, our, this is a Higher Brain Living guidebook, okay. okay? As people go through the Higher Brain Living program, the 22-step program, there's different components of this that they can bring that higher brain to their life. And so what happens, that you ask about self-help, what happens is, is that our life is largely driven by this lower primitive brain. And so someone can teach us new strategies or help us create positive thoughts or new ideas or new goals. The, but the problem is those things don't change the physiology. And so until the physiology has changed, until we shift from this lower brain into this higher brain, we can't really anchor, we can't embody those new thoughts and those new ideas and those new strategies. So we want to create the energy into the higher part of the brain and bring that empowered state into our life, into those goals, into those visions, into those dreams, and create that compelling future. Okay, so what I understand is here, this is the, you're calling this the old brain. Yes. And what lives in the old brain? Well, the old brain, we actually call it the old reptilian and old mammalian brain because reptiles and all mammals share these same lower brain structures. So do we. Mm -hmm. And they're protective mechanisms, protective parts of the brain. But through evolution, nature has provided higher brain structures. The most recent is this prefrontal cortex. And that's the part of the brain where we can really create dramatic transformation in our life. It's designed to grow and thrive in the complexity of the world. But that lower brain is like it's dug its heels in. And you can't really be in both places at once. And so the, the idea is you have to shift the energy into the part of the brain that helps you change your life. And that's been a missing link. So it's interesting. I mean, how do you really get from here to here, right? Well, we have a, we have a, <laughs> we have a system for that. The Higher Brain Living System, trained facilitators apply this. Uh, clients come in for a 22-step program. And so they are actually, they lay on a table. We cue pathways in their body that are energetic pathways that bring energy to the higher brain. And as this energy builds in the higher brain, their body learns how to self-energize that higher brain. And each session shifts that center of gravity into this higher brain throughout this 22-step program. And while that ha is happening, they're able to take this guidebook and learn new strategies to apply that to their life. So, so what's possible? I mean, when you start to get to this, this blue part of the brain, this higher brain, 
Where do we see that coming into play inside our everyday lives? Oh, nothing short of a whole new life. Uh, the, the ability to bring that to our relationships, to our finances, to our jobs, to our physical body. It, this is the part of the brain, and this is a hard scientific fact, Kristen. This is the part of the brain where we feel meaning where we feel purpose. See, the lower brain doesn't live a life of purpose and meaning. It's the higher brain that's required to, ha to be able to feel like you're making a difference in the world, that you can really give your gifts, whatever those are, that you're free of those lower biological restraints. So it's really like flipping a switch. It's like flipping a switch. To get that's into right. that, that zone yep. where there's more potential. Yep, and we flip that switch over and over and over until that center of gravity changes and give you access out there in your life to flip that switch. Now, before the show, you showed me another part inside this book about mm -hmm. all the different areas in your life that can be impacted by living from your higher brain. Let's, let's, do you mind if we go over no, that now? No, no, no. I think I marked the spot okay, for us. Great. All right. Yep. So what are we looking at here? Well, what we're looking at are the four major dimensions of a human life. There, uh, a, a lot of people have taken a look at this. The very uh, sophisticated philosopher Ken Wilber, for one, who's been able to demonstrate that you can't really reduce our human life or experience below these four major dimensions. Our mind, which is our internal states that includes our fears, our emotions, our beliefs, our dreams, our physical body our relationships, okay? Re relationships are our shared internal experience, how we're relating to coworkers, significant others, the culture at large, and then the environment, how we're behaving in the environment, what's our job, what's our financial situation. So what the higher brain living process does is you're getting that upload into the higher brain as energy, it's like the hard drive of a, uh, is being upgraded. So we wanna take life, our life, and, and this is a new operating system that we can install, that you can literally take that higher brain energy, get in that empowered state, create clarity, and then inventory these areas of your life. How do I want this to change? And then create the strategy to use that higher brain to make change in all of those areas. And here's the amazing part. When that happens, it frees up your life energy so that what we call the authentic self, that who you are on the deepest level can really start to emerge and we can live from that, that perspective. Sounds so inspiring. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Michael Cotton, for being here, creator of Higher Brain Living. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to seeing more of your work in thank, the near future. Thank you so much for inviting me. It was yeah. fun.